Hey, welcome back to the Blue Collar Budget. I'm Chris. Today, we're gonna make a martini. Now, the origin of the martini is very unclear. A popular theory suggests that the, this martini cocktail involved from a cocktail called the Martinez uh, from a popular hotel bar in California. Now, we're gonna make the martini. Now, the martini consists of two and a half ounces of London dry gin. We're using Broker's gin today. It's a great gin. I like, I prefer. Uh, it's distilled still today at a 200 year old distillery and they still use copper pot stills. It's two ounces, we're gonna flip around and we're gonna do a half ounce. And we're gonna pour two and a half ounces into our mixing glass. We're using nice crystal today. Next, we're doing dry vermouth. Now we're gonna do a half ounce of dry vermouth into that same glass. Then, next step, we're gonna add ice to our mixing glass. We're gonna do about three quarters of the way up here. We're gonna get a good stir. Now by stirring this cocktail at this uh, about 20, 25 seconds, that'll offer the right temperature and the right dilution of this cocktail. You can tell when the drink's ready is when the outside gets a little frosty. God, that's about good. Next, we're gonna, we're gonna strain up into a chilled martini glass. Now all this is, is ice cubes and soda water. If we don't have soda water, use water as well too. It works, it tastes a little longer. Get all the excess water out of there. Now you see how glass, nice and frosty. You could also just put it in your, in your freezer if you have room as well too. Next, we're just gonna strain up. We're gonna strain this cocktail up. Up means no ice. Just like that. And the final step, we're gonna add olives. It's a very important step. Now the garnish is definitely makes the drink. I prefer olives. Some prefer lemon uh, peels, lemon twists. I think the salt on the olive really pairs well with the vermouth. Well folks, there you have it. The martini. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. It's a martini. Now, if you're at home, if you're hosting a dinner party, it makes a great aperitif. So before you lay your steaks out, serve a round of martinis, but only serve one, because it's a boozy drink. Well, folks, if you like what you saw today, please like the video, subscribe to our following for more videos in the future. Thank you, see you next time, bye.